There you go, Billy. Billy Rodrick, let's cross now to the tally room to hear the Liberal leader as he's welcomed by a decent group of supporters. He's about to uh, say some remarks, no doubt. Claim a win. Let's have a listen. What a day, a day of milestones. And on that note, uh, happy birthday to my beautiful mum, Jerry. Well done. And today also looks like a fourth consecutive win for the Liberal Party. And firstly, of course, uh, I would not be standing here uh, today if it wasn't for uh, my wonderful electorate of Braddon, the beautiful northwest coast, King Island, the west coast. Thank you, my Braddon. I've represented Braddon for 22 years and been proud to do so. I wouldn't be here without uh, the Braddon electorate and I look forward to representing them for at least another four years as well. And can I thank uh, my family, my beautiful family, uh, Sandy, Ruby, Lucy and Holly behind me here today. Thank you for your love and support, everyone. And to all my parliamentary colleagues, uh, both old and new in terms of current and new, I should say, shouldn't I? Current and new. Thank you for uh, your support. Uh, thank you to the Deputy Premier Michael Ferguson, a very loyal deputy. Thank you, Michael, for your support over the course of the last few years. We're a great team and I appreciate each and every one of my parliamentary colleagues and indeed fantastic candidates. We truly have had uh, the team of the decade. I could not be prouder of the 34 people that stood uh, beside and along with me as we travelled our electorates uh, right across this beautiful state of Tasmania, listening, uh, learning and appreciating uh, Tasmanians and their concerns and also their aspirations as well. And also I want to thank, of course, every single uh, candidate that stood for election over the course of the last number of weeks. It's a tough gig and every candidate, irrespective of uh, colour, indeed political parties or indeed independents, you have my absolute admiration for your courage uh, to stand up and be counted and to represent your community and make such a positive difference to the state of Tasmania. Thank you very much to everyone that stood the election. And can I also thank, of course, uh, my incredible campaign team. Uh, they worked day in, day out, early mornings and late nights as well. Thank you to the campaign team. There are so many uh, to mention. I would like to uh, pay a particular tribute to our State Director of the Liberal Party, Mr Peter Coulson, and indeed our State President, Michael McKenna. Thank you, Michael. Fantastic effort by the both of you. And there is still clearly uh, much counting uh, to do and to go as we move forward over the course of the next uh, week or more. But two things are very clear uh, tonight. First, an historic fourth consecutive win for the Liberal Party of Tasmania. This has never happened before in the great state of Tasmania. Congratulations, team. And let's be clear, the Liberal team has clearly gained the most votes this election and the most seats by a large margin. So well done and thank you. 
And secondly, Tasmanians have delivered a very clear message. And I want to assure each and every Tasmanian that we've heard it. And I thank you for it. But Tasmanians have not voted for a change of government. Make no mistake, this has been a very poor result for the Labor Party of Tasmania. It looks like their lowest vote, primary vote ever. Labor hasn't got enough seats to form a cabinet, let alone a government. But as I said before, but as I've said at the beginning of this campaign, from day one, we will now work with the parliament that Tasmanians voted for today. And I will seek a new government to form a new government to give Tasmanians the, the certainty and the stability that they deserve and to deliver our 2030 strong plan for Tasmania's future. <laughs> Finally, uh, can I say uh, to all here tonight, in fact, uh, every uh, Tasmanian, it is incumbent upon the new parliament to work together, to put aside our differences, to ensure that we work day in, day out for Tasmanians right across this beautiful state. This is the best place, not only in Australia, but indeed around the world, to live, uh, to work and to raise a family. And I couldn't be prouder of Tasmania and Tasmanians. And my message is very clear. I love this place. I was born here. I'll always live right here in Tasmania. And I thank each and every Tasmanian for standing up to be counted today. And I look forward to the next four years. And I'm only going to get started. I'm only getting started right now, ladies and gentlemen. I love this job. Thank you all. I very much appreciate your time tonight. And thank you, each and every Tasmanian. Thank you very much.